Hey, welcome to week seven, our Picasso portrait. Now, there's some things I want you to understand about week seven, and that is don't freak out because we're doing a portrait. You could potentially, in some parts of your portrait, get somewhat realistic, and then in some parts of your portrait, you can get funky, weird, funny, goofy, you know, abstract, colorful, um, combination of the both, more realistic, more abstract. This is a great project because it, you can really decide which route to go with it, all right? Um, so it's so fun, and I always love what my students end up making, um, and I hope that you enjoy this. Now, I do want to challenge you. I've noticed some of you rush a little bit, and you make your rough draft into your final. I don't want you to do that this week. I want you to have a separate final and a separate rough draft. Why? Because in my two decades of teaching art students, I know without a shadow of a doubt that when we have a final and a rough draft, that there's a huge growth and improvement between the final and the rough draft. Now, when you do your rough draft, you can keep in mind that it's not the final, so don't spend a million years on it, all right? Um, but you're mapping out your ideas, you're getting what's in your head onto the page, playing around with it, moving things, coloring things, tweaking things, and so forth. And then when you go to the final, you take your best ideas from your rough draft and you redo them, enhance them, edit them, add things, take things away, and it's going to be even more amazing. So remember, I am expecting not only a final picture, but a rough draft picture. They may not be on the same piece of paper. This is for technical reasons of creativity. There's actually technical things to go with creativity. You technically need to have a different visual rough draft than a final so that you can have some real growth. All right. Um, yeah. So that's, I think that's the basic of what I want to tell you. I can't wait to see your work. The last time I did this, I mean, I laughed, I smiled, I was impressed. Again, if you can make me giggle or be impressed with your skills, then thank you. That's the fun part of being an art teacher. All right, guys, let's do it.